What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Big Homie Biz. Here's Dion showing us that the Be Free Academy really works. He should be doing commercials like the Everest dude. I see you at home, not locking your souls. Make the call and change your skating. Welcome to the show. We're talking blading here every single week. So if you're new to this series and you like what you see, consider subscribing or following. Also like this video and share with the homies if you want to. I'm not gonna tell you how to live your life, but it'd be tight. Let's jump right into it with products. Okay, so before we get started, I know you've seen the RBs hit your feed and I was gonna talk about it, but it is a leak and I have other things that I need to cover. So I'm gonna wait until Rollerblade actually posts it, okay? So before you guys go and comment what I forgot, just know that I know, okay? We cool? Good. Create Originals is back in action, oh thank God. Not a leak, this is the real deal. They have a new line of frames that already dropped. Gray, black, white, and army green. Almost like this, but like darker. And I'm gonna need one of every color. Okay, I got some setups I need to swag out. What am I talking about? I skate flat now anyway. Roller Warehouse got you if you need that, and trust me, you need that. Fabiola De Silva got her first pro skate, and she can't even skate it because it's a kid's skate. I don't know if that joke worked, but here we are. Birth linked up with Fabiola to drop the Storm, a skate designed for future bladies. It's the Celtic Kid Skate. Say that three times fast. In tan and black with purple Celtic frames. And I can confirm it's street legal. Although I would love to have a Fabiola Pro Skate because I would skate the shit out of it. I love the purpose behind this skate. I'm always here for the next generation of skaters being that I was like the last one. I, mean, I was the previous. Am I old now? I think I'm an old blader now. Make sure you pick these up for the little shredder in your life. Also, if you're down for some throwbacks, Fabiola recently posted her runs from X Games that are so swagged out, like I forgot. You need to check those out too. Last piece of product news, Tim Franken got a pro skate. No, I'm kidding, we already did that. But there will be a new place you can pick up a pair. Do you remember a while back we talked about Intuition Skate Shop opening a second location and then the virus hit and fucked all of it up? Yeah? Well, that shit is back on. The Intuition Santa Monica shop is open as fuck and I am really hyped about this one. The more skate shops in LA, the better. Trust me. Open Friday and Saturday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. on Pico, the Intuition Santa Monica shop has got everything you need for aggressive and roller skating, which is honestly a real smart move. There's a lot of roller skaters in LA. If you're in my home county, make sure you check them out. If you're not, make sure you visit intuitionskate.com. They're still shipping out shit. Shout out to Matt, Mickey, and the crew for opening up a second location. This is a huge accomplishment. All right, that's gonna do it for products. A shit ton more than last week, right? Since we're done, let's get into these videos. Let's start this off with an abundance of swag. More than me, and that's saying a lot. Matt's Ray is part of the Italian Destruction crew. That's not their crew name but if they would like this one, they can have it. Got put on them skates this week and showed us the fuck why. Matt's been fucking it up for a cool minute. We talked about on this show when he got put on the razor after his first edit. Remember first section, then team spot? And now he's on a better brand. I am kidding. These are jokes. Future Biz, do me a favor and edit this out, okay, please? This edit starts off with a gap to top star that is incredible. The second trick is a shuffle inspin topsole that is even more incredible. Incredibler. Make sure you check this out and congrats to Matt's for real. That is a big boy move. So Blader Union has been in the business of giving people a platform to shine. They did it with me, they did it with Tom, and now they doing that shit again. You know, people drop these edits that are pretty dope and need more eyes on them. So that's where they come in to help get the eyes on them. From the homie Matthew in Croatia, gray hair and bad knees has some really cool pieces in it. Especially this sweat stance. I rewatched that shit like five, six times. There's also an interview with Matthew on Blader Union as well. Check both of them out. If you have the Blader Union app, you can watch the edit and read the interview on the toilet like I did. It's a good time for everybody involved. Nathan Bentley has a new edit out, and look, I see a lot of you going out with your tripods, trying to make your little solo dolo edits, and that's all fun and games. But Nathan just set the bar stupid high for tripod edits. 
So you need to step your game up or get some friends to shoot you because my man has got this sewed up. Filmed between spring and summer of this year, Nathan is really going off. If Max didn't get put on them skates, this would have been the edit of the week, so I'm sorry. But you saw it. We all saw it. You know how swag it was. But make sure you check this out in its own right. Okay, look, on some real shit, what is in the water in Canada that we're not getting here to make y'all skate as well as you do? Is there maple syrup in the water? Wait, is there maple syrup in the water? Because that sounds terrible and I wanna try it. We have an edit of Lewis Packham put together by the Express crew that is fucking incredible. My man's hangs on a basketball hoop and locks sole on a fence. In a line, I might add you. Like this was not the first trick. I did watch this edit 10 times. I wish I was lying to you, but it happened. Make sure you do the same, like carve out some time to watch this multiple times. All right, that's gonna do it for videos. We are gonna get social. I feel like we should do this in person at some time. I feel like it'd be really fun. You down? Cause I'm down. Let's start this section off with Eric Michaels doing some shit that, um, that, this is really some shit you do when you've done all the tricks. Resin TV is a rollerblading variety show coming to a social media site near you. Most likely IG and YouTube, but the previous sounds way better. They're bringing skating, interviews, sketches, and probably so much more with your host, Chale Wale. They're starting it off with a section of Steven Babcock that I am personally hella excited for. My little homie is dope, so this section is going to be dope. I was writing this late at night and I ran out of adjectives. My bad. Make sure you follow the movement. Link to their socials is in the description. Philip Moore has some leftover clips on the gram from a project that they're dropping soon. And if these are the leftovers, we are not at all ready. Not even a little bit. I watched these clips so many times and I thought to myself, what the fuck do they have left? Because these would have been all I have to offer. Make sure you get ready for this. And Phil, if you wanna drop this on the show, we can make that happen. All you gotta do is holla at me. Robert Basabe lets the flame ignite with his newest project on the gram put together by LTE. When you first see this, you're like, oh, it's a TBT. I'm probably just gonna scroll past this. But no, it's a, it's a now TB. Look, this, it was past my bedtime. I wrote this in the dark. There are so many impressive tricks in this edit. You're gonna need to watch it a couple times over just to like grasp the whole thing. I'm biased because Rob is like my little homie and shit, but I'll put him up against your favorite blader any day. Make sure you check this out. Let's end this section with a line from Grant Hazleton. I don't want to spoil it for you, but it is sensational. All right, I think that's going to do it for this week in Blade. Make sure you like this video and comment your favorite news below. As always, make sure you follow bladerunion.com to keep up to date with everything happening in the blading world. They also have a Patreon, so if you want to support them or this show directly or shows like this, hit the link in the description. They also have an app, so if you need some blading on the go, on the train, on the plane, or even on the toilet, you know what to do. Download it. Get it. Go do it. Now. Also, make sure you're following my link tree to get all the TWIB updates, skating, and a bunch of other crap I just completed my flat research, and we're good. For this week's ender on some real shit, I wanna have a moment of silence for our fallen soldiers, Julian Isaac and Dima McCrucian. Two people that were taken too soon and meant a lot to a lot of folks. So if you guys will kick it with me for a minute and have this moment of silence. <laughs> 